Hi, how are you? And welcome to Glomis. Uh, Glomis is a celebration of the holidays, and it's what I tend to do here. No, I don't usually go around with this much makeup on most of the time, but I'm trying to kind of prove a point that we go ahead and we make the holiday into merry and bright and all sorts of fun stuff and tinsel and uh, lights and sparkle and everything, but we don't do that necessarily with what we're wearing. So I decided to put on all the makeup today that I could to go ahead and make my point that maybe we should add a little bit of glow into our holiday. And I am actually recreating this look. I managed to lose some footage, and that sucks. Never do that if you can avoid it. The first time I did the look, or the look, um, I went ahead and did it with the Beauty Bay Glow Filter. I have the shade two in this, and so most of the video that you see, I'm going to be wearing this one. But since the opening was the footage that I lost, and I had to redo it. I did go ahead and I recreated the look with the Milani Glow. This is shade 110, and this one is, well, they're both pretty amazing. They're some of the glowiest foundations I have found. And this channel deals a lot with getting older and using glow as you get older and not going all matte because all matte just gets to be scary and sort of witch-like as you get older. So, um... Beauty Bay Glow Filter, I would say, is the glowiest that I've found. Um, but this one is really close. And the Milani actually has 29% squalane in it. So if you want something that's going to go ahead and give you some skincare benefits, this is what I reach for when um, I am having a day where my face feels like it's completely chapped and uh, just really tender and uh, this is what I'll go for and 29% squalane will help you um, to soothe your skin. Um, so if you want to glow and you want to get some skin benefits, this is probably the one you want to go to. The glow filter I think is going to be a little bit more glowy altogether and it really um, packs a punch. It really packs a punch. So I thought I'd get started with a couple of the products that I know didn't get included in the other footage. And yes, I am going back to that. I am harping on it. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I think we did everything up until the eyes. So I'll go ahead and do that with you. And I do have a very glowy, very shiny eye look on. Um, I did get the Odin's Eye. This is the Jewels and Gems palette. And this is a very new palette to me. But um, I've been messing around with it. And Odin's Eye does some beautiful toppers. And they do toppers that have a very clear translucent base and toppers that have um, a color pigment as a base. And um, what I did today was I went ahead and used this one um, on the inner corner to about halfway. And then on the outer corner, I went ahead and used this purple. So light purple and dark purple here. Um, I went ahead and used this one, which is a pink, and it's very definitely one of their um, shimmer toppers. And I went from here up to here and here over to here with that. Um, as far as what I did on the lid itself, um, <clears throat> well, actually, let's go to the crease next. I used this one in the crease. This is actually going to be at least a duochrome. It's probably a multi-chrome. Um, but, yeah, see, it's turning up differently. So, um, yeah, it definitely looks white in the pan. It definitely has a lot of gold in it pink and orange and so that's what I have in the crease right now is this particular color and um, it definitely it looks white it has gold pink and orange in there and it's really pretty multi-chrome and then as far as what I did on the lid itself I used this shade right here use this uh, again under the eye as an eyeliner 
and I think that's about all that I did with this palette but these shades are just so beautiful and I don't know if they're gonna show up yeah um, as far as the multi chromes this one might uh, this uh, the last one I did is this one down here and no I don't think it is but um, yeah these are it's a gorgeous palette I've done one of the glowiest looks I've ever ever done with uh, this particular palette and it's one I have on right now this way that it turned out and these shimmers or these sparkles toppers are just amazing and if uh, yeah I would definitely recommend this palette it has a whole bunch of micro glitter in it and it just it shines up the whole place so yes this is my video about um, different glowy products that I would recommend and that are a whole bunch of fun and so as far as getting back to the video we probably should go ahead and do that and um, yes I don't usually use where my makeup like is but right now to prove this point I am definitely all glow and this is just as bad as glow as you can get and I think I say it later in the video but I think I outdid myself I wanted to do the glowiest video ever and I did that a couple of months ago but I think this one actually goes even further with that so uh, let's get started and uh, I'll be right back used as my base color and then I went ahead and decided to get as glowy as possible and I used so glassy from ColourPop and the NYX Fat Oil and Supermodel so I have all three of these on and yeah it's glowy it's glowy again just a reminder that you know and you don't need to do what I've done here I mean I've taken each feature and made it glowy and glowy and glowy and you know it might work a lot better to go ahead and just do the cheeks as glowy and do everything else matte or you know do a glowy foundation and then just do like satin as far as your cheeks and your eyes I, I just thought I wanted to play with the colors today so I got out all my fun colors uh, back to wet and wild um, I guess this is a finishing powder it's actually one of their highlights I mean who would ever need this much highlight right ah excuse me fuzzy okay so um, with this one she's lit uh, like I said I go ahead and use this as an all-over uh, setting powder I realize some people might not want to do that there are glowy powders that are made to be glowy and they aren't wet but they sort of give you a wet look um, this one from Beauty Pie the triple beauty perfect glow uh, this one will go ahead and give you a glowy finishing powder kind of look the physicians formula their better glow series this one is one in natural it's what I used as a finishing powder today and it's um it's a baked one it gives you a little bit more of a pink hue when you use it as a finishing powder I also use it as a blush for me it works as a blush and um, let's see oh this one in translucent is a great finishing powder um, I think it's actually a dupe for some of the hourglass powders uh, but I don't think they're the hourglass powders that are popular anymore I think there's some of the older ones like the universal powder but I definitely think that if you get this one in translucent and I had one and I can't find it now but it's a really good finishing powder and it definitely is a dupe for the hourglass and um, let's see what else am I using over here as far as uh, glowiness every every brand does some glowy stuff uh, this daybreak by Revlon and yes mine is all cracked and I've had it forever and I have a huge dip in it 
and this one is actually a dupe for the Amorezzi highlighter by Anastasia, which is no longer available, but they bought, brought out one this uh, holiday season that's pretty close to the Amorezzi, which means that this is probably a dupe for both of them. And again, another really pretty highlighter as well. And as far as getting your glow on, you thought we were done, but we're not quite done. Uh, this is a She Glam product, and this is actually a body um, a body glow oil, basically. It has a ton of shimmer in it, and um, as far as using it to, I use it to go ahead and match when I have a glowy face on, and then I have, you know, something that has more of a... Okay, so back again, had to go ahead and change out the memory card. It ran out of memory, and the, <laughs> the camera probably just needed a break from trying to film all the glowiness. So we were talking about the She Glam. This is a body oil. Well, it's not really a body oil. It's more of a lotion, um, but it has a ton of visible glitter in it. So if you're wearing something that has a decolletage and you want to go ahead and match your chest to your neck to your um, face this is one of those uh, and this one I think is in euros yeah this is uh, definitely a body lotion oil that'll go ahead and give you some glimmer on your chest so that you match so another good product um, this one isn't very expensive. You can find these from or in Sephora by Fenty and some of those companies and they tend to be really expensive. Um, I know that this one, the Beauty Bay, this glow filter, it is actually one of the glowiest products I've ever found. But it's also a little bit more uh, uh, difficult to get hold of. Uh, you have to order it off of the Beauty Bay website. This one, the Milani Glow, um, I reach for this and um, it's beautiful. It has uh, squalane and I think hyaluronic acid in, in it as well. So um, the Milani Glow, it has, uh, it says 29% squalane and um, electrolytes. What else does it say? Yeah, and coconut water in there. So maybe it doesn't have hyaluronic acid. No, it doesn't look like it does. So it's 29% squalene. For some reason, I thought it had hyaluronic acid in it too. But whenever my face is just feeling kind of chapped, I'll go ahead and put this on uh, for the day to kind of do a makeup, no makeup, just a little bit of glow look. And it's actually really soothing but it's one that you can find uh, without having to order online but this one I would say is probably a little bit glowier but these two are really good and um, I think that's just about it oh setting sprays don't forget a glowy setting spray this one has mica in it it's the glisten from um, Fourth Ray, sister company to ColourPop. You can order it on the ColourPop website. The Hard Candy uh, Sharon V Glow Setting Serum. Uh, yeah, Glow Setting Spray. 12 hour wear. Um, I'm liking this a lot too. Another one that I really like is the Ninth Inning by Trixie Cosmetics. This one is really good as well. Um, and uh, both of these have mica in them. So they're going to give you, uh, they're going to spray out particles that are going to give you a little bit of shimmer. And definitely probably nothing at all like what I have on my face right now because I wanted to go overboard and do all the glowy stuff. And I remember two other things while I was changing out my memory card. Um, the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1. This is great to use as a primer, and it does give you a little bit of glow. The e.l.f. Halo Glow as well will give you some uh, glow um, if you use it as a primer underneath. So, yeah, here are three glowy primers. And I think that that's a good start 
to glowy products and adding some glow into your look for the holidays. And so I hope that you've enjoyed the video. And I will go ahead and see you later. And have a great day. Bye.